Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for liking and sharing and subscribing to my channel. Yes, it means a lot to me guys. I'm here to do a reading for the collective here. You know, let's see what the energy is coming in here guys, yeah? I was picking up on a message from Spirit. Yeah. Let's just see what the energy is coming in here, guys. Let's see what's coming into your love life. Yeah? Let's see what Spirit wants you to know. Spirit guides, universal spirits. Archangel Michael. Sisters, just show me what I need to see for the collective. Thank you. We have the five of pentacles, the lovers, strength. She's a major arcana, the queen of wands. So we have the five of pentacles, which is like, there's some fear surrounding money here. You know, have the wisdom to accept help from others, guys. I see there could be like uncertainty about like starting your own business here. And then we have the lovers who I'm seeing like, somebody's coming in where you're going to be partnering up with somebody here i don't know this could be a partnership this could also be a relationship where you know it, it could be like an in, a intimate relationship here with the lovers yeah i definitely see somebody coming in here <coughs> somebody who wants to help yeah this is like and then we have the strength card here leo energy so you have to have great strength here, guys. Inner strength. You know, it's time for you to release harsh judgment. Harsh judgment. <laughs> yeah. I see forgiveness and compassion. Be confident with the Queen of Wands. It's time for you to stretch your wings and fly. You know, don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and your creativity here. Yeah. This could be you, the Queen of Wands. Be confident. You know, you're somebody who is like intelligent, warm, graceful. Then we have justice. So I'm seeing you getting justice in your finances. Wow. The Ten of Pentacles is coming in. So what, whoever you're partnering up with, guys, <laughs> this is definitely, it's going to triple here from the five to the ten here. Yeah. This is going to definitely give you great strength. This is going to be a power couple here. <clears throat> I'm telling you. You guys are going to be a power couple here. I see that you're already strong here. You, you know, you go after your goal here. And you're definitely getting justice. With the Ten of Pentacles, this is like financial security. I see you guys are finding magic in the little things in life. These two people here. This is a couple. This is like an unbreakable bond between you and this person. Whoever this person that you're connecting with here, guys. Yeah. I'm seeing a very happy family life here. You're definitely getting some form of justice, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. You could be dealing with a, a Libra here, ear sign. It's time for you to stand up for your belief here, guys, what you believe in. And then we have the five of cups. Another five. Fifty-five here. I see where things did not turn out as you hoped here, guys, as you plan something from the past here that could have been affecting your money. It could have been affecting your money. It could have been a relationship here. Yeah, the five of pentacles, the lovers. You could have been married to this person. You were, you were not seeing the positive in the situation. You couldn't see the positive in the situation anymore. You know, somebody was crying here. Sad. There was past mistake, past regrets. But the good thing is that there's two cups still standing up here. So I'm seeing this is representing love that's coming in for you guys. 
this could be new love so new love is on its way it's time for you to turn around and chase love yeah we have the page of pentacles so i'm seeing you planting seeds here the queen of wands the page of pentacles yeah this queen of Pen queen of wands is planting seeds you could be like feeling very youthful right now feeling very you know i don't know just feeling fiery just feeling you know driven to do this to, to invest in something and i'm seeing where you're gonna get good news about your financial here about your finances matter financial matters here your money so i'm seeing you want to do something more here yeah you're definitely getting justice here i don't know what this is yeah we're well, gonna have more peace yeah, you're definitely going to be at peace here with whatever justice that came in for you in your finances here. This could be a person. This could be a situation. I don't know what this is. Could be a new job. I, you know, improvement in your business. It's time for you to take a rest or, you know, a vacation. Yeah. Allow more time before making a decision here with the Four of Swords. Meditation may also provide answers. And then we have the release card. It's time for you to release some things here. I don't know what this is. This could have been a relationship. Something from the past that definitely was draining you. The five of pentacles. I'm seeing where there's, um, you know, this person could have abandoned you. I don't know. It could be a person or you could have lost your job. I don't know what this five of pentacles is, but I'm seeing there's a relationship here with the lovers. Somebody that you're connecting with. Somebody who's going to give you strength. It's going to, you know, gain your confidence here. Yeah, I'm telling you. You're going to remember who you are. You're strong. You're powerful. I see that you could also have, like, clair clairvoyant powers, psychic abilities here. Yeah, this person, I'm telling you. It's the end of a phase or a situation in your life here with a release card number 13. I'm seeing where you could have gone through. You're going through like a spiritual transformation here. It's time for you to move on, guys. It's time for you to move on. You get in the Ten of Pentacles and then we have the Queen of Cups. The Eight of Swords. Yeah. I'm seeing where this queen of wands were like feeling trapped here, feeling bound. But it's like an illusion of feeling trapped. Yeah, there was fears about your money. You feel like, you know, you couldn't move. <clears throat> that was definitely holding you back here. But I definitely see you partnering up with somebody. You know, this eight of swords is like, was a lack of self-confidence. Afraid to take action here. But with the Queen of Cups, I'm seeing where there's a relationship here that's developed into a new level here. It says, trust your intuition, guys, and care for yourself here also, and others. You know, you're somebody who's patient, loving, tender-hearted. This Queen of Cups, this is her attribute. She's empathic here. That's your power here, guys. Combining with the Queen of Water, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Now we have the Queen of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Hmm. So I'm definitely seeing you getting victory here. I don't know what this is for you. I'm seeing like public recognition here, public award. Yeah, and I'm definitely seeing relationships are developing here to a new level for you. This could be new relationship, new connection. People you are connecting with, like-minded people like yourself here. Yeah, you're definitely teaming up with somebody.
you know, to have all these three queens here, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords with a Strength card. Yeah, definitely, guys, you're going to be getting victory here. You had to use all of your, you know, bring all of your energies together here. Harness your energy. This is what it is with the Strength card. You harness your energy, energy here. <laughs> you're in a strength. And you overcome a situation here, whatever this Five of Pentacles were. See, you're now in the Nine of Pentacles because you remember you have the, already have the Ten of Pentacles. Teaming up with this person here, whoever this person is. I'm seeing where you guys going to be like lovers. Yeah, this person going to be in love with you. I don't know, you're going to steal their heart. You steal this person's heart here. <laughs> you won their heart. <laughs> you won their heart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a successful time for you. I'm seeing successful self-employment here. With the Queen of Swords, it's like you're clearing away all that no longer serving you guys. You're being like, you know, realistic here. You're being witty. You have experienced a lot and you know, you're independent here. You're seeing the truth. You're seeing the humor in a situation now. You know, you're making objective decision here. Yeah, and this is definitely giving yourself su success, guys. I'm seeing where you're going to be enjoying life, little luxuries here, spending quality time alone. Yeah, you're, you're, you're victorious here. You're going to be getting good news here about your money. Good news is on its way here. I'm telling you guys with the victory card. Yeah, you're going to be celebrating here. A lot of people are going to be celebrating you. You're in the public eye. You're going to be in the public eye. But I'm seeing there's a problem here. Somebody having a problem. I don't know. Or there could be a problem. I see where there was like an unwise choice here that you could have made. I don't know. You know, regarding, because remember we have the first card of the five of pentacles. Where the five of pentacles, you are feeling trapped in some form of way here. You could have invested something here with the page of pentacles. And you could have lost money. Could have invested with somebody. I, I I don't know what this is was. But the five of sword is like you made an unwise choice here. But you had to deal with this. You learn what you can from that situation. Now you're reviewing everyone's motives here in your life. Yeah. The nine of swords with the queen of swords. The Seven of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. Yeah. So the Ace of Cups is like, this is new love here. Like falling in love here. Or this is like a resurgence of a relationship. You know, I'm telling you. I see spiritual growth here. Your yeah, intuition is like on point right now. I see enhanced intuition. I'm also seeing a new home here. You could be buying a new home, moving into a new home, you know, changing location. I don't know what this is for you, but you can afford it. You can do it here because you see where you're definitely winning here. Whatever this is, this is like success, guys. Success for you. And I'm also seeing like a relationship here is developing to a new level. You know, you're falling in love here with the lovers at the second card. You're definitely partnering up with somebody where I'm seeing where you're going to have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Whatever seed you have planted here, the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, where well, there was worries, there was, you know, but I'm seeing where you, you have to, ha you know, you, you had to have the wisdom to accept help. And I'm seeing where you're now in the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. There's something that was hidden here, something you didn't realize, you couldn't see, it was like up in the clouds. Yeah, you made your investment here, but there was something that you couldn't see. There's something that was giving you sleepless night here. With the four, the nine of swords, the seven of cups. I'm seeing where like you were expecting the worst here. This is like self-fulfilling, you know, prophecy, guys. You have to get out of that mindset here. 
we were having sleepless night anxiety stress that's not good for you that's not good for your mental here because we have the four of swords here this is where you have to find peace within yourself within a situation no matter what it is yeah be like the queen of swords here be real be real be realistic guys make objective decision clear away all that no longer serving you whatever it's going to affect you guys your mental health this is somebody who could be having like mental problem here mental issue stressing out over something that you're not supposed to be i know there's something here that's hidden with the seven of cups it's not you know the, the the seven of cups is like also a choice card a complex decision here that you have to make there's a need to do do research guys do more research you know stop procrastinating here yeah stop procrastinating here the ten of swords the ten of wands i mean you have to go to the bottom of this you know get to the truth of it guys somebody could be lying here somebody could be lying they wanted to keep you in the eight of swords energy here i'm telling you they're having a problem with you so they're giving you all this burden all this heavy load the problems that's the problem right there there was too much work there was too much work here with this ten of swords you know accept help from others here guys this is what you did i don't know what this is for you accept help from others life is like out of balance here You know, I see stress-related health concern. Exactly what the, the Nine of Swords. You see what I mean? We have the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles. And number 88. Number 99. <laughs> yeah, 99. That Ten of Wands, is that, that's a lot of fire here. Yeah, a lot of pressure here, guys. But eventually, you know, the pressure, too much pressure, it's going to burst. It's going to burst. It's time for you to release here. Release it. Let it go. This is like you're coming to the end of a situation here. You're going through a spiritual transformation. It's time for you to move on. I'm seeing new love coming in. You could be falling in love here with victory. This is you winning. This is you winning here with the Queen of Cups. This is a relationship that's developing here, guys. With a strength card. You overcome the situation. Yes, you did. You got great inner strength within you. You made the unwise choice. You know what this is. You learn from that. You learn your mistake. You learn your mistake with the Five of Cups. It's time for you to walk away, turn away from that. Whatever is making you not feeling good happy yeah it's time to let it go the five of pentacles the five of cups the five of swords five 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 it's time to make a change here it's time to make a change if you don't make a change here spirit is gonna come in and do that for you it's time for you to release here let go the three of swords exactly there was a broken heart here there was a painful situation here yeah a great sadness i see there was in the in the past it definitely could have been a broken heart somebody could have broke your heart here that's what it is it could have been affecting your money affecting your health but i'm seeing you're getting justice here you, you know where well, you're gonna be at peace here guys you making like realistic decision here objective decision you are independent you're taking care of yourself you're healing you're taking time out to heal you know there's a need to forgive yourself and others with a three of swords i know it's not easy sometimes yeah but you can't let it take control of you of your mind here you gotta be in control of yourself you have to go in harness that inner strength that you have be confident like the queen of fire the queen of wands no matter what come at you guys you're able to overcome it here you're strong 
you're powerful you have great inner strength within you here i'm seeing the nine of cup knight of cups also coming in so i'm seeing yeah i'm seeing somebody's falling in love here guys you could be falling in love somebody's falling in love this is a new connection here you know i see wedding proposal there's a need to balance out your emotion you know you could be invited to like a social event here this person could be inviting you out here yeah the ace of cups the knight of cups this is somebody who's romantic you know they're emotional yeah, contemplative here, guys. They're falling in love with you. Yeah. I'm seeing wedding proposal. This could be the resurgence of a relationship also. The sun. Wow. You see how it's turning out, guys? The sun is coming in for you. Sun is going to brighten up your days here. Your cloudy days. Yeah. I'm telling you, your sleepless nights. You're going to be getting happiness. You're going to be getting a happy outcome here with the sun card. Yeah. Know your worth here, guys. I see you have brilliant new ideas here. That's definitely leading to success for you. So have confidence in yourself. You could be connecting with your soulmate here. Yeah, this could be a soulmate connection. Let's get some more cards here. Number 19. For the sun card you know archangel uriel okay i saw the seven i'm gonna take the seven of ten of seven of wands and we have the empress the six of swords and the seven of swords <clears throat> So we have <clears throat> the seven of swords, the seven of wands, and the seven of cups. So seventy-seven, seven, 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 seven. <laughs> yeah, angel number is there, guys. So you need to look it up and see what angel wants to tell you, what your angel wants to communicate with you here, specifically. Yeah, that's three sevens there. And then we have the Empress. Wow. So I'm seeing where this Empress could be is the one who could be falling in love here. She's in love. Yeah, she could be in the company of her lover right now. Uh, yeah, this is a new connection also where you guys are getting to know each other. It's, I definitely see you guys. Are, it's moving to the next level here. Yeah, I see where this, this empress is somebody who nurtures herself here and others. She's like giving birth to her dreams here. Or she could be pregnant also. You know, living in lavish abundance here. She's surrounded with love, growth, beauty. So much abundance here. And I'm seeing where she's like defending her, her belief and her decision here. I don't know what it is here. She's defending herself here. She could be the one who have gone through that broken heart, this, you know, this painful situation. Now she's healing. She's nurturing herself. She's taking care of herself here. Taking care of her loved ones. You know, I'm seeing where, you know, she's, you're choosing your battle wisely here. Standing your ground, guys. That's what it is. Things are looking good for you right now with the Six of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, the Five of Cups, where I see where you need to, you know, you're making a new start there, moving away from the sadness, you know, whatever this is, the loss. You gain your strength here with the Strength card right on top there. It's just like, yeah. You overcome it here and things are looking good it's the end of a difficult situation you could be also taking a trip here with this person this new person you guys could be going on a romantic trip a holiday yeah i'm telling you this person could be inviting you out to travel i'm seeing this is somebody who's making plans here the seven of swords with the sun card wow they're making plans here there's more going on than just meet the eyes, guys. 
I'm telling you. This person want to make it like in the right timing here. Not poor timing, guys. They, they, you know, they're matching up with your energy here. This is what it is. So I'm definitely seeing this empress is like falling in love here. She has definitely gained her strength here, guys. Her, her stamina. <laughs> yeah. She's ready to go 10 for long here. I'm looking at this horse here, guys. So she's moving forward. She gained her strength and things are looking good right now. Yeah, it's a magical time for you here. Yeah, all these all these unicorns. We have the two of swords. The two of the page of fire, page of wands. Ten of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. I'm seeing where, you know, the Two of Swords, where somebody was being blocked here. Or you are blocking something. The Two of Swords with the Seven of Wands. Yeah. You're blocking something or something. A situation. <laughs> okay, guys. I don't want to give you my part for because I know you understand what I'm saying. So, <laughs> yeah, as I say something, I mean, when I say something, I mean like something, okay? All right, so the two of swords is like being unable or unwilling to make a decision here. I see a situation become a stalemate here, pretending that there is no problem. Yeah, so somebody is pretending that there's no problem, but there is a problem. They're having a problem with this five of swords. But this empress is like on her guard right now. She's defending herself and her belief. You know, she's standing up. She's standing her, you know, she's standing her, her guard here. Standing her guard. Yeah, she's confident. She's the one who freed herself here, the page of wands. She got that fire. She got that oof inside of her. Yes, guys. She's moving towards the future here. I'm also seeing like news of an exciting endeavor that she's about to go on. The two of ones is like making plans here. You know, the two of ones in the, in the right away deck, you know, this person is like holding the world in their hand. Yeah, they're making plans to travel. Yeah. To travel the world or to go places here or make decision to step into something new here this is what this empress is doing she's somebody who is very creative here she have a creative abundant mindset you know she's also a little bit mischievous yeah using her originality and her ingenuity yeah I see where she have gained mental clarity here, mental strength, mental growth with the Ten of Swords. Yeah. She, it's the end of a difficult situation for this person. She's like embracing the change that's taking place in her life right now. Yeah. And, you know, she's expecting things to get better now. She's definitely recovering from something here. We have the six, the, also the Eight of Pentacles where she's working here and she's very skilled. She's very talented at what she do. I'm telling you, she's very good at what she do here. And I see where she's being rewarded here by spirit or by people or by, you know, the universe is rewarding her. She's learning all that she can about something that she, I don't know, whatever she's doing here. She's gaining more info, learning about a topic here. She could also be like going back to school. Not literally going back to school, but it's like that's what she's doing. She's learning on a topic or something here. She's learning about something. Yeah. Okay, I think my, my, I'm going away too far here. We have the world card here in the bottom of the deck. So I'm seeing where she's closing off a, a cycle here and I'm hearing where, you know, a job well done. Spirit is saying like a job well done, guys, you did it. 
you know i'm seeing joy contentment happiness gratitude you're on the path towards enlightenment here and i'm so happy for you guys yeah you're closing off a cycle here you're connecting with you know new love new connections here new people coming in the page of swords so i definitely see you learning this is what it is you're learning about something the devil learning about the devil we have the wheel of fortune here so something is about to change there's something that you know you've been learning here guys yeah and then we have the devil capricorn energy here i don't know what the devil is doing here <laughs> but something about to change here the devil is learning watching and learning I'm seeing somebody is obsessively thinking and watching, guys. Obsessively watching you. They see the wheel of fortune is turning. This is you. This turning in your favor here. Something is changing. It's time for a positive change in your life. So I don't know what this is about here. Time for positive change, guys. Fortune is on your side. The chariot, exactly here. I see you're going to be moving forward here. You took strong willpower here. Yeah. within you you have you definitely i see this is like an important achievement for you you see what i mean the three of sword is right on top of the devil <laughs> so whoever you were dealing with guys this person was a devil they make your life a living hell this is what it was the three of sword they hurt you deeply really bad here because you see we have the three of swords and the nine of swords over here now the Empress, you know, you have the seven of wands here. It's like you're protecting. You could have blocked communication with this person. But this person is obsess obsessively watching you guys. Watching you. Seeing you moving forward. Something changed with the Wheel of Fortune. You healed yourself. You healed yourself. The Page of Pentacles. Yeah. You're planting seeds here. You're planting seeds. The star. You're a star and you're moving forward, guys. You're on the right path here. The Ace of Swords. You gain clarity here. This is what the devil didn't want. They didn't want the truth to come out. They were hiding what they were doing. They were deceptive. It was an illusion. It was a lie. They were hiding something. This is a deceiver. This is somebody who's a manipulator, like very controlling materialistic i'm picking up and then we have the empress here so you see how things are changing around this empress the truth is coming out here for the empress you are a star here and you're meant to shine here this person can't keep you down anymore with their lies the ace of wands so i see something new coming in something that's going to ignite the passion within you this is like the power of god handing this to you dear empress i'm telling you you're on a new road right now. You're seeing the truth of the situation. Yeah, you see the truth of the situation. Your creative ideas are definitely giving you success. You have creative ideas and inspiration, guys, that God is given to you. Spirit is given to you. You have overcome this. The truth is out here. They can't hide it anymore, what they were doing. The Empress has gained her strength back. You're taking control and you're fighting back here. And you're more powerful, more stronger here. I'm also seeing like this could be new love coming in. Something that's ignite you, the passion. Yeah, you're definitely partnering with somebody here. Somebody new coming in into your life here, guys. You're definitely seeing the truth of the situation here. I'm so happy for you guys, yeah? All right, let me get an article here. Strength. You're strong, guys. You're stronger than this person knows. Than they thought. Yeah. You're coming from a dark place. You're coming from the light. You are the light here. Bittersweet. So even through the bittersweet moment here, you made it, guys. 
or this person that's coming in will be there for you this is somebody who could be a star i don't know celebrity are you gonna be like famous here and you're on the right path with the chariot and the star here happy times ahead for you acceptance accepting yourself here accepting the truth for what it is impartial so this person was painting the ugly picture of you they didn't want the they see the change that's coming in so they were like you know <laughs> guilt now they're feeling guilty for what they did to the empress they're feeling guilty here they try to keep you chained they kind of keep you you know bound keep you this is what it is but you have this halo over your head you can see it over this woman's head there's a halo over her head you are an angel you are an angel here so they're feeling trapped they're really feeling guilty miserable you have strong faith here guys and you trust god that god thinks we're going to work out and it did with the wheel of fortune they really thought that you would be stuck in one place but the change happened for you a positive change yeah, you could be seeing angel number 555. It's like your angels are communicating with you. You had faith here, guys. And your faith is like breaking barriers here. It's crumbling. They're dissipating. See what I mean? They're crumbling. They're leaving. They have to go. Perfection. Yeah, complacency. The power of God came through for you guys. The creator. Helping you. Giving you that creative mind. You know that inspiration here you know i'm telling you to make it perfect here the way exactly how you want it whoever this person they were like you know complacent you can never please this person no matter what you do they broke your heart anyway but now growth coming in for you it's all coming in here guys you're on a new quest a new journey yeah they're feeling rejected now but you have completed that cycle it's over the miracle already happened your breakthrough they're confused but you're connecting with your soulmate here and we see recovery right there you have recovered your soulmate your soulmate have recovered you both of you have recovered each other here this could be a past life connection here yeah this is like spirit reconnecting you guys and i'm so happy for you yeah okay guys end of your reading i hope this i know this is a little bit long i hope this reading resonates for you if it did please give me that thumbs up guys much appreciated you know take care of your beautiful self out there guys yes love and light